Hello, in this video we're going to look at the marginal rate of substitution and utility maximization. So the marginal rate of substitution of x for y, of good x for good y, is written as follows. And it's the rate at which a consumer is willing to give up units of good y for more units of good x, holding utility fixed, moving along an indifference curve. And so we can write the marginal rate of substitution of good x for good y as a marginal utility of good x divided by the marginal utility of good y. The consumer's utility maximizing consumption bundle is given by the following condition, where the marginal rate of substitution equals the ratio of the prices, the price of good x to the price of good y. So if the marginal rate of substitution of good x for good y exceeds this price ratio, the consumer is not maximizing utility and should buy more units of good X and less of good Y. On the other hand, if the marginal rate of substitution of good X for good Y is less than the price ratio of good X to good Y, the consumer is not maximizing utility, but in this case should buy more units of good Y and fewer units of good X. And one way to think about that is that what is the marginal rate of substitution? It's the marginal utility of good X divided by the marginal utility of good Y. So if the marginal rate of substitution is less than the price ratio, we could just rearrange this by dividing through by the price of good X and multiplying through by the marginal utility of good Y, and perhaps we get a more familiar expression. And this expression is showing us that the marginal utility per dollar spent on good X is less than the marginal utility per dollar spent on good Y. So we're getting less bang for the buck on good X and more on good Y. In this case, the consumer should buy less good X and more good Y by the thing that you're getting more marginal utility per dollar for. In this case, it's good Y. In a similar manner, if the marginal rate of substitution is greater than the price ratio, it's implying that the marginal utility per dollar of good X exceeds the marginal utility per dollar of good Y, so the consumer should rearrange uh, his or her spending by spending more money on the thing that is giving more bang for the buck, so sh the consumer should buy more good X and less good Y in this example. So let's do some more examples. Suppose the marginal rate of substitution of good X for good Y is 5, and the price ratio of good X to good Y is 2. Let's explain why the consumer is not maximizing utility. So the consumer's marginal rate of substitution indicates that she is willing to trade away 5 units of good Y for one more unit of good X, sort of her willingness to pay, if you will. Because the price of good X is twice the price of good Y, the market prices indicate that two units of good Y must be given up for one more unit of good X. The market rate of trade-off for good X represents a good deal for the consumer. She only has to give up two units of good Y for one unit of good X. But based on her MRS, she's willing to give up five units of good Y uh, based on her MRS. So the consumer should buy more good X and less good Y. The market rate of trade-off here is a good deal for the consumer. So again, the consumer should buy more good X and less good Y. All right, let's do another example. Suppose the marginal rate of substitution of good X for good Y is 2, and the price ratio of good X to good Y is 4. Explain why the consumer is not maximizing utility. The consumer's marginal rate of substitution indicates that she's willing to trade away 2 units of good Y for one more unit of good X, holding utility constant. The market prices indicate that four units of good Y must be given up for one more unit of good X. Good X is four times as expensive as good Y. The market rate of trade-off for good X represents a bad deal for the consumer. In the market, she has to give up four units of good Y for one more unit of good X. But she is willing, but she is only willing to give up two units of good Y for one unit of good X based on her MRS. So in that case, the consumer should buy more good Y and less good X. Uh, another problem. Uh, the price of hats is $20 and the price of shirts is $30. Hats are measured on the vertical axis. Shirts 
like good X, are measured on the horizontal axis. A consumer's utility is given by the following equation. What is the marginal rate of substitution of shirts for hats at the utility maximizing consumption bundle? So in the, at the utility maximizing consumption bundle, the marginal rate of substitution of, hat, of shirts for hats is just going to be given by the ratio of the price of shirts to the price of hats. So in this case, it's going to be 1.5. In question six, suppose a marginal rate of substitution of cheese for pretzels is one-third. What is the price ratio of cheese to pretzels in the consumer equilibrium? It's just going to be one-third. Question seven, the marginal rate, uh, the marginal utility of bagels is four. The marginal utility of donuts equals ten. At the consumer's equilibrium, what is the price ratio of bagels to donuts? So we can set it up like this. The marginal utility of bagels divided by the marginal utility of donuts equals the price ratio of bagels to donuts. And that is just going to be uh, 4 divided by 10, or 0 0.4. The marginal rate of substitution of bagels for donuts has to equal the price ratio of bagels to donuts. OK, I hope you found this video helpful.